Oh, I can actually access the stuff now. Thank you. So the game is kind of blocking you off. If you're trying to look at things, it, it's just going to block you off until you actually reach a certain point into the game, uh, which is quite frustrating as I tend to ignore what they're talking about. Um, or I don't ignore it. I just go ahead and do my kind of thing. Now, someone talked about steel being an issue. I, I'm not sure what he's talking about because... Steel is running right away. Maybe he was doing um, a different mode. So let's just let let's just let these guys keep on working for a few. We also have the research tab here, which is locked for now. Um, it would be nice to get that one. Um, Was conveyor modes? Yeah, we need research. The it was something else I did see here. Undermining, yeah. Ore detector. Yeah, we need to research that one. Extractors and everything has to be uh, researched. I really would like to do some more solar panels and batteries, to be honest. It's gonna take a bit more concrete. And it's gonna take a bit more... Uh, that because I'm afraid of running out of power, you know. Also, I would like to get this one going. Um, issue is, I need to scan this first. Then over extractor. Director, you can never have too much smart concrete, so it's worth spending time to produce it. For this purpose, we have a pressing module, which may not be the most efficient way. But it's good enough to start with. I would assume these guys are going to take that shit, put it in here. That's what I'm guessing. Um, how else would you get the concrete if not from um, bedrock here? But we're going to do. I'm just going to shut this down just for now. Or maybe we can just keep one. Yeah, let's just keep one for now. And let's just. Let these guys work here. I want to open up this a bit anyways. Uh, due to the conveyors. And I would assume we want to open this one a bit as well. Okay, so the mining drones are the one working. And the other ones are just getting the stuff. Putting them into the machines. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Oh, that's 25. And actually, it's a <laughs> assignment we should do. Okay. So, I guess digging out the part I was thinking about wasn't that a stupid of idea. Anyways, okay. So let's speed it up. Uh, I guess we need to open it a bit more here. Um, so where are we going to go? I think we're going to grab this part here. gonna take a few so let's just speed it up again oh what did we find down here that looks interesting oh yeah we definitely need more power uh, I don't care if the game is uh, not telling us but I can see it on the display that we are definitely not getting enough power here so um I'm going to build some more. And I should shift click when I do that. So we got electricity for 18 days. Uh, I think they were talking about two weeks being um, how long the sun was going to be away. Uh, we might actually have to add even more solars. I'm not sure if you can actually... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these are lighting up if the batteries are full. Oh, we're climbing at least. That's nice. So, we got 44. I guess uh, these guys are getting uh, almost done. Uh, I think I just want to open up this area here a bit more. 
Just to see what this is. Now the thing is also that uh, we need to get some um, progress made here. This shit is really odd. Because we don't, don't have any containers. I'm not sure if you can connect that. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got science here. No, no, we don't. My bad. Storage. Single resource. Okay, so what I did now, I just put up a storage here for uh, that stuff. Um, the steel, that is. I'm not sure how much material we actually have to play with here. But it would be nice. Um, the pressing module requires only regolith, which is a type of lunar dirt plentiful here. Assign mining drones to the evacuation so that we have the resources we need. Free drones will deliver the regolith to production themselves. Yeah, we kind of figured that one out. So, um... Director, here's the latest news regarding contracts. To resume shipments to Earth, we'll need to restore communication and significantly expand production. If we manage this in the near term, I'll negotiate an extremely lucrative contract with the aerospace company FASM. They've lost their supplier, and are willing to pay generously for an urgent order. I'm still looking into the matter, but be prepared to devote all resources to this effort if you want to maximize the benefits. I'll return as soon as new information becomes available. Sure. Now, uh, I made a storage well, share for the start. steel. Jesus. Smart concrete for the first time. You guys are talking all the time. Well, I made a um, storage share for the steel, because we were running full. Uh, I tried to add one down here, which was just stupid. Um, so Director, we have a message on the emergency channel. I'll put it on the screen. I thought I would actually... Yeah, it might be stupid, but I think I'm just going to do uh, two more. So we actually have stories for all three. Uh, by the way... We got some more resources to play with later on. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this is. So I'm just trying to dig around it to open it up. Uh, also might be stupid. Um, but uh, when these guys are done digging around this one, these guys are done building, uh, we're going to go back to the mining operation here and hopefully get some research going as well. So it's not that complicated game to be honest, it must take a few to uh, get it comfortable with. And uh, I assume you guys aren't fucks like me. So you will figure out this quicker than me. Still having an issue coming around this part here. Might just be too solid so we're not able to dig there, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna speed this up a bit, see what these guys has to say. Attention, this is Arthur Moore, commander of the Hope 2 orbital station. The station has sustained severe damage from multiple collisions. We have lost key control modules. A hard moon landing will occur in the coming weeks. Request assistance from anyone who hears this message. All crew members are ordered to take shelter in Block 4. I repeat, uh, orbital station. The station has sustained server damage or uh, multiple collisions. We have lost key control modules. A hard moon. Okay. So they will drop down on the moon and they require assistance from anyone. Okay. The debris from the meteorite impact must have gotten hope too. I'm already contacting Crust to report it. Director, my name is Clyde Draper and I lead the Crust search and rescue operation. We are aware of the situation with hope too and are already developing an evacuation plan. There's still a chance to restore resource mining and production at your facility, and it's in our mutual interest for you to assist us. We need a place to accommodate the rescued crew, and your base is the most suitable candidate for this. Crust will provide you with the necessary equipment and scientific resources to carry out the assigned tasks. Um... We're going to get people here, okay? With all 
due respect, Director, I do not share your doubts. People are in danger, and if it's in our power to help them, we must do so. Which means we need to build a shelter. Okay, that's super funny. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to build that. So, um, I guess we need to open up some space for that. Let's just continue opening up this pot. Let's open that pot. Um, because I did see some was it? Yeah, beds and stuff here. Also got ice melter. There's a lot of shit here. Um, we got some preparation to do. I'm starting to wonder if this is just obstacles. Uh, I'm not sure. Might be. Uh, we are getting plenty of materials. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Plus for plus plus plus. Okay. Whatever that means. With all due respect, Alice, altruism has clouded your judgment. Crust is clearly asking for grant aid that we cannot afford right now. I suggest we focus on restoring production and resuming shipments to Earth, where resources are urgently needed right now. Also, I've negotiated a prepayment with FASM. We can use their funds if we start re-establishing the contract system now. But all you care about is profit. If that's the case, think of the technology Crust will provide. It's worth as much as our base in its current state. Do we pay a fair price for their technology? Don't forget, Director, by accepting Crust's offer, we will allow them to decide how our base is developed. We'll have to focus on the construction of the living quarters and postpone the expansion of high-tech manufacturing and investigation of the meteorite case. Crust is going to accommodate the surviving Hope 2 crew members at your base in exchange for equipment and technologies for us to carry out a rescue mission. If you accept Crust's offer, you will lose access to the FASM contract, for which the corporation is willing to pay upfront. You know what? <clears throat> We're gonna. That's high difficulty. Work in progress, even? Okay. God damn it. But we want the contracts as well, right? I mean, what's the point of otherwise? <sighs> okay, this is a hard choice. So. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just grab the people. Let's see if we can kill them quickly. Good choice. You need to establish contact with the station, assist the commander with the evacuation, and then transport the team to your base. You should have living quarters suitable for sustaining life by then. Begin preparations for the construction of the living quarters immediately. It is a complex and resource-intensive structure, so maximize and optimize production so you're ready when survivors arrive. In summary, your main tasks are Contact the station and ensure the transport of the crew to your base. Construct a residential facility with life support systems. We will send a research plan and transportation for search and rescue operations shortly. We've barely recovered from the explosion. Now our base is just a couple of mining and processing modules. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to save the crew, but it'll be almost impossible in such a short amount of time. Yep, yeah, it will. This is when uh, Ted fucked up. But hey, that's what we do here. Um, the only issue is uh, we don't have um, we got a bed, indoor ventilation. We th there's a lot of research needed. But yeah, uh, we can't do research yet. Is there anything we can actually build here? We can build uh, drone configuration mode. We do did that. Uh, we got the process, and yeah, um, we got this shit. General storage, a storage facility for small quantities of core resources cannot be connected to the nitro, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, maybe we should have one of those. Oh man, that's a lot of shit here. Okay. We definitely can't do it alone. I will send a request to colleagues and inform you when new information becomes available. 
aid. The timing's not ideal. However, we still have the ability to break down the task and move towards our goal with small steps. First, we need to ramp up production. Living quarters will require a lot of resources. We have smelting furnaces, but we need extractors and refineries to extract oxides from mined regolith. Yep. I know. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to deal with that. Uh, I hope you guys are going to just give me the blueprints. Research underground mining complete. Director, okay. Crust has handed us the research plan, and we're ready to begin. Research underground mining and place two extractors on the iron and silicon veins. Okay. So, research is up. So we need to do underground mining. Okay. Uh... That's conveyors as well. Oh. I think we want that one. And conveyors. Okay, let's go there. We start with. Got socials as well. Okay. Ice processing technologies. Uh Living quarters. Okay. We definitely need that one. We need ice processing. Fundamental. Landing platform, automatic repair, drone upgrade, drone upgrade, medium solar panel, oh yes. Fuel generator, generator adapted for operation in extreme conditions, generates electricity from hydrogen fuel. I don't think we need that just yet. Let's do... Okay, we've got five full here. Let's see what happens here. It says zero days, so hopefully things will... Start ramping up quickly here. Now, some people are complaining that there are AI voices in this game. Seriously. I have not been um, annoyed by that, to be honest. So far, I, I think it's all good. Uh, the devs say it's uh, a placeholder for now. Um, sure, that might be. Uh, regardless, I don't see it as an issue. Now, I would like to know if you could actually see the sun and stuff. Um, so, the first ones are quite simple. Um, can't remember what we opened here, but we said we wanted to do medium solar panels, so let's add that one as well. Now, does this cost anything? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna cost. I'm not sure how this actually works. We did the underground mining there. So we should be able to build that um, somehow. The other question is, the output is there. So I guess we would like to... Rotate it. Um, Don't forget that extractors need electricity. Hold down shift to build a chain of utility poles. Now, I'm not sure how we're gonna sort this one out. Um, I don't want to be too much in conflict with everything else here. Um, we should be able to hook that one up to... Did we hook that one up to this one? Yeah. Uh, also, I think I want to open this one up a bit more. Why I'm not connecting that yet, just yet is because... Oh, I don't have any power. Objective achieved. Okay, Data, there it goes. The extractors have started mining. Now, finish the research and build two regolith refineries for producing iron and silicon, respectively. Yeah, yeah, we're working on that. I just want to open up that part a bit more uh, so we can um, make sure we're not going to block the conveyors or anything like that. <laughs> it's the same, we need to probably need to remove some of this as well. These guys are almost done here. Uh, I think we... Okay, hey, thank you. 
So is that all the research or no? We're still working on something here. Uh, we're working on a conveyor. Which is taking a bit more time. 1.2 days. Okay, it's all good. But we definitely want the conveyors quickly. Would be nice if we could actually build more drones. I guess that's coming. It's research single rigor. Uh, didn't we do that? Oh, refinery. My bad. Research complete. It seems like we're using a lot more power than we can actually afford. So, back up to the surface. Uh, I don't like having poles here, but it is what it is. Uh, it would be nice to actually get that shit out of here. Uh. Man, I just... I don't want that shit. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had stuff there. Okay. That's why. So, can we get the batteries in here, or are we... Just want to delete that one, delete, come on. Don't try too quickly, because I would certainly screw things up a bit for you. This doesn't look pretty, but it is what it is right now. Um, let's go from that one. That one. Wasting sinus points. Okay, I'm not sure why. Uh, oh. Guess because we don't have that shit. So we're just going to keep doing... Um, the ones we've done is the orange ones. Blue ones doesn't seem to work for oh, 58 days. Screw you. That's uh, a lot of freaking days. But everything else is blue and stuff. So I guess um, I, I need to figure this one out. That will be for the next episode. Right now, we just want to get this stuff going. The storage is full. Yeah, I know. The storage is full there. I just looked in a bit into uh, the research a bit more. I started cancelling stuff because it was saying it was inactive. But the thing is, you, you can start several um, research things at the same time because they're using different types of research. So this one is using blue and uh, orange. Um, this is just blue. And uh, same with that blue orange. This one is blue. And that one is blue. So the thing is, you want to. Make sure you got all the colors running at the same time. Uh, that's at least how I um, understand the game. So right now we got green running on two spots here. Uh, actually, three spots. Yeah, we needed the living quarters. I'm not sure why I canceled this. I, I got confused with the, the research. Uh, I did the landing platform. Um, 
I guess we need that for the tender system here, which will unlock our uh, buying and selling, I would assume. Uh, and I got an extractor upgrade. Why? Because everything is freaking expensive right now, so... But maybe I should do the rolling mill. But we will start that one after the landing platform, I guess. Um, might be stupid. We will figure it out. So the thing you want now is a regolith refinery. So let's see if you can find that one. Uh, should be mining a single regolith refinery. We got uh, inputs up on the left and we got outputs to the right. Uh, and down. So, okay, that's slag. Okay, so we're getting slag and uh, auto mine oxide. Okay. So I guess we'll uh, try to add it kind of straight here. I might actually have to move this later on, but we will figure that one out. Now this one takes iron oxide. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we need another one. And uh, I think he wanted us to place that one here. Let's try to do that. Nice and tidy. A bit close, maybe. Um, everything is possible to move whenever we got that shade running. Okay. So we got uh, both the regular th refineries here. Uh, it's just going to take a few to build everything up. And. Uh, got research running we are making solar panels on top and i think i need to speed up the progress a bit so this is going to take a few to actually build uh, maybe i should remove a couple of the solar panels i'm not sure um or we could actually move some of the batteries i think we're going to remove some of the batteries because that feels a bit unnecessary to be honest um Why? You know what? Because this is definitely showing how much you're charging the battery. I'm, I'm convinced because it was two dots earlier. We are running low on power and just one now. So we need more solar panels than we need batteries. That's for sure. Uh, at least when it comes to the small ones. If we go medium or large, yeah, maybe they will even out. But at the moment, I'm not going to use that much. So we can definitely remove some of the batteries now let's just add more batteries if needed and hopefully in the next episode uh, we can actually progress this uh, game a bit quicker we just come through the basics now i know it has been a slow one but i just don't want to fast forward everything and you guys don't understand or get any any progress with you so let's just go slow in the beginning and as usual we just speed up as we go and uh, until next time you uh, guys take good care of yourself. Drop a comment in the comment section with ideas, suggestions, or just ask me out because I'm doing everything wrong. But until then, you guys have a good one. Bye. Well, as I said uh, at the end there, at the end of this one, guys, episode two of The Crossed. Things are moving a bit slow, but hopefully we will ramp up the speed as we go now. Uh, anyways, um, do drop a comment in the comment section if you got some uh, suggestions or ideas that I actually need to look into or if I'm actually getting something wrong here because I am not reading anything online about this game. I'm just trying to figure it out as we go. So anyways, it, it's been a superb one. Uh, I'm going to continue the crust. Uh, let's see if this is a viable thing for um, regular episodes or if this is more for a live stream. Um, we will see. Noise, it's been a joy. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It would help me out tremendously. And until next time, you guys take good care of yourself. Enjoy the summer, by the way.